It's a river you don't see. Um, you can see it at bridge crossings, but that's about it. People either don't know about the river or they see the river in, within this concrete channel with chain link fencing keeping them away. It becomes mocked as a, basically a sewage corridor. I think that there is a really huge disconnect between the river in Pocatello and uh, the community that surrounds it. The Portneuf River flows for about 100 miles, starting on the Shoshone Tribal Bannock Highlands, and then meanders through the Portneuf Valley and into the city of Pocatello. Flooding in the early and mid-1900s convinced local citizens and the Army Corps of Engineers that the Portneuf River had to be tamed. And within the city of Pocatello, they did it with a flood control project. In the city, it's channelized in a concrete channel about 40 feet wide, um, concrete box for 1.6 miles. And then on either end of that are earthen levees with uh, rock riprap along the banks. So there's no vegetation, there's uh, no sinuosity, it's straight, it's channelized, and not really a river. Those levees have worked wonderfully over 50 plus years, but they're unsightly and they don't let the river purify itself as it flows through the city. So the city of Pocatello, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, have initiated a year-long study to uh, rethink uh, the levees that they built 50 years ago. And our scientists in the MILES program at Idaho State University have contributed uh, information on the water quality, the water quantity, and uh, survey information on what people uh, prefer uh, to this uh, consortium that's called the Portneuf Vision. There are a lot of people who know we have a river but don't know a lot about the river. And I think this is one of the reasons why we're actually studying the river. The aim is to provide a vision plan that's somewhat analogous to a, uh, a land use uh, or zoning plan um, uh, for a community, but that is centered up on the, on the river corridor itself. For the MILES project, I worked with a number of other social scientists here at Idaho State University. What we wanted to do was learn how the public viewed the river and what they also wanted to see in the future. So one of the things we're hoping to do is educate and fill in the gaps for both the public and stakeholders. Over several months, Miles scientists surveyed stakeholders and the general public. So one of the things we've done is created a website that tries to tell the story of the Portneuf and, and share what we know about the Portneuf River. And so that's been a big part of working closely with ISU. Using technology, Miles researchers are not only informing residents about their river, but also scientists are helping area residents see how their river could be transformed. I was using the input of parcel data and land use data and work is put into a model. And then we can project different kind of scenario of the city development. They want to see what is the future of the city, what is the future of the river. And our model will be able to provide different kind of scenarios to them. And because the Portneuf River is essential to the area's agricultural community, Miles scientists reached out to area ranchers and farmers. Can you start off by telling us a little bit about how you and your immediate family got into the farming business? Yeah, sure. So my farmers are important because they use 85% of the water oh, in the state right. of Idaho and also because they're a big part of our economic base. So one of the main goals of the EPSCOR Miles project is to um, provide science-based decision-making um, tools to help sustainably manage Idaho's resources. It's important for scientists to understand what motivates farmers and how they see their role in being stewards of the land. So as important as it is 
to have a vision for what the river should look like at, as it passes through Pocatello, it's also important to improve or measure the quality of water that passes through the Portneuf. We know that the Portneuf is a muddy river, and one reason it's muddy is because of the contribution by a tributary stream, Marsh Creek, which is located 10 or 20 miles upstream. We're gonna send a team of scientists into Marsh Creek to determine why that stream is so muddy. Sediment has uh, lasting effects for communities downstream. Sediment itself is a vector. It carries along pathogens and things like that. And so by reducing the amount of sediment coming in from Marsh Creek, we have the ability to improve ecosystem health along the entire remaining length of the Portland. Yeah, just set, yeah, set the location, so now you guys are... You're gonna go every meter, Graham? Go every meter. And by measuring at many different locations along the main stem, we can identify hot spots where more sediment might be being generated than other locations. If we know where those hot spots are, then we can better target future conservation to improve on those hot spots of sediment source. Miles scientists also work with local ranchers and farmers to better understand their conservation efforts and how they perceive water quality. I've never met a landowner that wakes up in the morning and says, I wonder what I can destroy today. They rely on the ground and they rely on the water to make their living. I think this project is going to be really neat. Uh, it's gain, gaining more information about water quality. Uh, it's going to gain information maybe about runoff events, maybe where some of the problematic areas are. And then it's going to allow us maybe to know what practices we can install uh, to better improve water quality. Improving water quality does more than just reduce sediment levels. Miles research could lead the way to other improvements. Our Miles project is looking at the changes in the occurrence and distribution of amphibians and reptiles in the port of drainage. I think that there's a potential for wetland restoration in the uh, lower Portneuf area where you could have places like this. So there's hints, you know, of what, what we could have in the future. The City of Pocatello and the Army Corps of Engineers and the Portneuf Working Group met to make recommendations for how the City Council could put the Portneuf vision into action. And it happened with Miles scientists at the center of the process. There's no one else out there who has the time or expertise to uh, measure uh, the quality of the ecosystem or the uh, needs and wants of the people in the community. And so we have collected that data, we've talked amongst one another across our disciplines to understand what these data might mean and passed along the results to our partners and stakeholders. While the Portneuf research mission is to answer the scientific questions needed to help craft the Portneuf vision, the impact of this work has benefits beyond improving one river. As part of the MILES project, you know, there are uh, students that are involved from the grade school level to grade school teachers to undergraduate research assistants to graduate students to postdocs to new faculty and we're all doing something that we've never done before. The MILES project is really hitting that sweet spot of interdisciplinary or transdisciplinary science um, by bringing together not only a bunch of different participants across age groups, across backgrounds, local stakeholders, um, but also building infrastructure for doing research at our university by marching us down a path that we've never had an opportunity to do before. I think that the educational component of the MILES project has been one of the ones that's been most successful. I've met a lot of people that I wouldn't have otherwise, and uh, it's reinforced a lot of things that I've learned in classes up to this point in my education. 
a lot of the projects that graduate students are doing within the scope of the MILES project are really providing some of the key data that is being used to guide uh, decisions in terms of the visioning project here in the Port Neff. In the future, you know, when I'm hopefully crafting policy that I can understand those things, have hard facts along with, you know, whatever uh, tribal beliefs that we have to, to protect our homelands. The MILES project has allowed me to use my planning and GIS skills to try to find ways to grow Pocatello more sustainably into the future. Miles has made a huge difference to this university because for the first time we have biologists talking to geologists, talking to political scientists and sociologists and historians in a way that was never done before. And this team of scientists uh, is not only well suited to solve problems like the Portneuf River, but for years to come, the relationships we've developed will allow the same team of scientists to study other services associated with rivers, or with crops or with timber, um, all of which are important to the state of Idaho.